The Pinnacle, also known as Pinnacle Towers, is a building on hold in Nairobi, the capital and largest city of Kenya. When completed, the skyscraper is expected to become the second tallest building in Africa after Egypt's iconic tower and the third tallest building in Southern Hemisphere at 70 stories and over 1,000 feet in height. The skyscraper is located in Upper Hill on a 2.5-acre piece of property, approximately 4 kilometers southwest of the city center of Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya. The development consists of two adjacent towers. The shorter tower at 46 floors will house over 257 rooms. A five-star Upper Hill Hilton Hotel will be on this tower, the third Hilton franchise in Nairobi and the fifth on the African continent. The taller tower with 70 floors will feature 11 floors of commercial office space, 9 floors of upscale rental retail space, and 46 floors with 210 upscale 1, 2, and 3 bedroom service residential apartments. Other amenities include a conference facility, a gymnasium, a luxury spa, and an infinity pool. The Tola Tower will have a rooftop helipad to allow a chopper directly from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, just 16 kilometers away. The development is a joint venture by Haas Petroleum, an East African petroleum product distributor, and the White Lotus Group, a Dubai-based investment firm. The White Lotus conglomerate is run by Indian businessman and godman Vijay Kumar Naidu, otherwise known as Kalki Bhagwan. Helping him run the business are his son NKV Krishna and daughter-in-law Prita Krishna. The budgeted construction cost of the Pinnacle Towers is US dollar 200 million. Of that, the developers contributed US dollar 50 million and the balance was borrowed from Afrexin Bank and some Kenyan banks. The main contractor of the project is China State Construction Engineering Corporation. When President Uhuru Kenyatta laid the foundation stone for construction of the Pinnacle Tower on May 23, 2017, there was optimism for what was to become the Africa's tallest building. Just over three years later, the developers are running in cycles as authorities pursue them, the lofty dreams having stuck under the ground. After relentless court battles, rumors of multi change of design has emerged. However, there was also numerous threats to arrest the developers. Will the Pinnacle Tower be completed and become the icon of East Africa? We all hope so. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, share and subscribe to The Boss TV. See you next time. Until then, as always, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.